Lee Junho's portrayal of the male lead, Gu Wan, in the JTBC romantic comedy K-Drama King the Land has captivated viewers worldwide with its endearing charm, and the show's classic old-school rom-com vibes have made it a global sensation. While Gu Wan's character garnered widespread acclaim from the audience for his refreshing approach of openly acknowledging his feelings for Sa Rang, without going through the typical denial phase often seen in K-drama male leads, striking a chord with viewers. Moreover, Gu Wan's character stands out by embodying all the love languages, making him an exemplary figure within the narrative, and the praise for the first kiss scene, which depicted consent, is noteworthy in the context of K-dramas, where toxic male leads often dominate such moments. Lee Junho's significant influence in shaping Gu Wan's character was evident in the behind-the-scenes footage, where he firmly voiced his disagreement with certain directions during a pivotal scene with Sa Rang, resulting in the director's support and the exploration of more thoughtful alternatives, avoiding any portrayal of aggression or raised voices. Despite the enemies to lovers setting common in classic K-dramas, Gu Wan's character defies stereotypes by rarely exhibiting toxic behaviors, refraining from forceful actions like grabbing Sa Rang's wrist or kissing her without consent, even during their initial animosity phase, and this nuanced portrayal by Lee Junho adds to Gu Wan's endearing nature, sparking curiosity among viewers about whether the character is inspired by the actor himself. In essence, the resounding success of King the Land can be largely attributed to Lee Junho's exceptional performance as Gu Wan, as he brings a refreshing and respectful portrayal of a male lead in a romantic comedy setting, captivating the audience and contributing significantly to the show's triumph.